Caroline, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap, and we are here with Technique Tuesday. Yay! As you can see, we are in an empty monorail. So it was a rainy day, once again. You can tell by my hair, mom had a poncho. <laughs> um, but we are here with our next Technique Tuesday video. All right, hello everybody. So for Technique Tuesday today, um, we are gonna be doing something that's a little bit different. But we actually did this a few months ago in one of our virtual weekends. So we kind of wanted to throw back to it because it actually um, really helped with designing of our page. So what I have for us today is I actually have one of our cut above layout kits. This came from our craft with heart. This is the October subscription. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk about these a little bit too and then go into the technique. Um, if you didn't know, we have craft with heart, which is either our scrapbooking or our card making subscription program so this is the card making and this is kind of the box that it comes in so this is the card making one and um they are awesome because you get so much so for one of our subscriptions for the scrapbooking you are actually going to get four different um months so for this one you would have gotten september october november and december and in each month you're actually going to have two different layouts so the these are the two layouts in this and everything is stickers or it's um pre punched and cut for you you have to just punch out the sheets you get the page protectors and everything so you just kind of kind of punch these out you get your photo mats and everything with these kits um and it's a subscription program What's different though that started in September is now if you are subscribed to this and you are a VIP, you're going to get your 15% credits back on your subscriptions. So it's a really, really awesome program and you get so much out of it. But today I'm actually going to just take one of the base sheets from this. So this is one of our sheets. And I just thought this was cool because of the design on it. Um, you could really take any designed B&T or base and texture paper from us, anything that to do this um, technique. We actually had first done this with the Wander collection. I don't know if you remember that paper, but it looked like there was um, a sun in the sky and some deserty mountains. Um, so we actually used this technique to cut along the mountain range. But in this, I wanted to show you how you could take just a regular X-Acto knife and cut an element on a background page to make it more interactive. So with this, I'm looking at this, I'm actually not following the directions of the kit because you can or you don't have to, um, but I'm just gonna take an X-Acto knife and I just really like this box here. So I'm gonna just cut right along this edge. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna tuck something in here. So. Let me just cut and then I will talk. All right, so that seemed long enough. So when I am cutting, let me bring you down a little bit closer. When I'm cutting, you see that line that I cut? I'm trying to make sure that I'm not gonna get any of the white on this side of my cut because what I thought was really cool with this when I saw it is, let me get out some photo mats here. I thought this would be a really cool spot on a page to be interactive as like a pocket or just in general if you wanted to have some photos that are kind of popping out here. You could even do smaller ones. These are just some three by fours. But do you see how cute that looks? Um, and it's now using the base of your page or something that's on your background and making it interactive by just cutting a little bit. And how I would secure these is I would just take a scrap piece of paper and kind of just glue it around here to make like a little pocket. And then that would secure those down. So when I use my page, obviously that wasn't secured down right now. Um, but when I made my page, I would then have my interactive elements there. So it just shows you that you don't always have to cover up your base page. So I wanted to show you with a completed page. Here's the wander. And do you see how we cut out this mountain here? So if there was any of the Sundance showing on that mountain, you would have seen it once the photo mats are tucked behind it. But do you see how now that makes the background page also interactive here, and then you can design with it. So that's kind of the same thing I would do here. I've now cut this, so it's as if it's coming actually now towards you, and we can design around it. 
But super simple technique today. We just wanted to show you um, that you can interact with your background paper. And also, you saw I was cutting right on our Versamat. That's because this is self-healing. So Versamat is great to cut on um, if you ever needed a surface to cut on. But that's Technique Tuesday. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Um, and this could be you. If you want to go on a trip and celebrate the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, let me know. My services are 100% free. I'm an authorized vacation planner for Disney. Um, but yeah, you can also um, get some great memories for those scrapbooks. How about that? Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> we have our live in-person weekend October 15th to the 17th. So if you would like to join us and you're anywhere near Long Island, New York, let us know as well. We also have another one coming up in March. And then we have our virtuals, so make sure you check that all out. But all right, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Of course I don't. Of course it's downstairs. Why wouldn't it be downstairs?